Hi, my name is Yemi Awoyemi. I'm the head of engineering at Thriver. I've been with the company for three months. I started in the beginning of February, and I'm here to really help with the growth of the engineering teams in Thriver. Um, it's really important for us to think about uh, different or uh, evolving our ways of working as we grow. Uh, and this takes the shape of people and technology. Um, our current team uh, is split up into uh, three areas today. We have core products, which is made up of user acquisition. They focus on the top of the funnel uh, to help customers understand our value. We have discovery, who then help those customers actually uh, order their first test. We have insights, who help customers really uh, make sense of the results that came back from the test. And then we have actions, which is about I've got my result, how do I actually do something about it? So how do I engage with this result and create a better help for myself? We have platform services team. Uh, this is brand new to Triver. We're trying to distill our knowledge over the last five years into a platform that can be used by Thriver and other partners. And finally, we have mobile team, which is about creating our first mobile product that will enable us to uh, get customers to be more engaged with their health. Our typical, we try to make sure our typical scores are cross-functional. And there are two levels to this. There is the uh, engineering and product aspect, and then there's the working with the wider organization aspect of it. The product aspect is we have cross-functional engineers, so we have front-end engineers, as well as back-end engineers in our teams. We have our product leads or product managers, uh, as most people will know them, working in collaboration and a designer. So every team has one designer, one product manager, and at least four developers in those teams. And then think about the wider business. Uh, depending on the area that team is focused on, they can potentially work with, say, the clinical team as well to actually derive what is going to their backlog. The need for growth is actually based on the mission that we're on, which is to put your health in your hands with the tools that will help you take action with the support that you need. To do all of those things, we need more people. Currently, we are 18 in the development team. We will need to at least double that by the end of the year, and even more so as we continue to grow. And the reason to double is there's a couple of opportunities that we need to work on. Putting a mobile experience in the hands of our customers so that they, they can engage more with their health. Being able to work on innovation projects with our clinical partners. Uh, that. Any, any kind of ideas that they come up with that helps us drive our health outcomes. We, we need teams to be able to take that on board. And then we need the platform services area to scale as well. We have a lot to do based on the last five years of experience to actually turn that more into a platform. And then finally, internally, we need teams that can help us stitch some of these things together to give a better experience for our internal teams and also to drive delivery effectiveness. Some of the challenges is, as a company, we want to double or triple in size. So it's about how do we evolve our engineering culture? How do we think of quality? How do we think of delivery? Then when you go on the technology side, uh, it's about how do we turn all of the things we know today, uh, use technology to solve those problems, like collecting samples, sending it to our customers, getting it to the labs, create, getting results back to you in such a way that you can make sense of it. That is what we're trying to solve here. We're trying to solve this end-to-end -end problem uh, using technology. And we also have a big opportunity in this area as a company. We have built up knowledge in this domain over the last five years, and we're now looking to turn this into a platform that others can also use.